it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies and today we're going to be talking about Ripple and at the start I want to say immediately that I am not trying to shill it or spread any fud. This is just going to be a straight on facts video about Ripple and what they're actually doing right now. So last month, uh, September actually proved to be an incredible one for Ripple and we all know that and it's mainly because of investors jumped in after the company hinted the launch of X Rapid which is the product that will use the XRP tokens. With XRapid, there is an excellent probability that big financial firms could be using XRP for global finance settlements directly. And this single potential made XRP's price go up by more than 100% last month. I hope you guys managed to take some profits as it was a great chance to actually do it. But very important thing to point out is that what XRapid will do is play a role of a bridge between different currencies worldwide, allowing banks and payment providers to process cross-border remittances at a lower fee, as well as high speed. And let's recall that the Ripple CEO, Mr. Garlinghouse, claimed that dozens of banks would be making use of XRapid when 2018 ends earlier this year. And with Swell happening, where speakers like the former US President Bill Clinton had to speak alongside some positive announcements, expected to be made by the blockchain firm, it was anticipated that XRP price would surge. And here we are, you know, swell is over. Well, not exactly over. There is still a day number two in progress, but we didn't witness any rally for Ripple XRP yet. And that has made many starting to wonder why. Well, first up, that's a valid question. And secondly, some good news was break yesterday on Swell too. But still, the XRP didn't respond well. And with Ripple Labs, the firm basically that's on the back of Ripple revealed three US-based financial firms have signed up to their X Rapid service. And the Alliance will help those companies to carry out global transactions within a couple of minutes only. And that's an impressive boost considering the fact that existing remittance system, Swift, takes at least two days to make that possible. Two out of three companies who have signed up for X Rapid are Mercury FX, Kulix, and Catalyst Corporate Credit Union being a corporative financial company. But even though XRP had a nice bull ride last month, its price is still down by about 80% from the peak price token so after the colossal bull run last year. And the cryptocurrency touched $3 mark last year while it entered 2017 with a price of not no six per token. And understandably, all eyes were on Ripple for its annual conference swell, mainly because of, you know, its star speakers like Jen Sperling and Bill Clinton and anticipation of some big announcements. Both of those things have happened without failing even by an inch. And the former US president took to the stage and he praised the potential of blockchain a lot, as well as XRapid was made available for commercial use at full. But all I'm trying to say is to relax. And no matter how volatile the cryptocurrency markets are, you cannot expect to skyrocket your profits from XRP only because Ripple has been putting efforts in driving the adoption of XRapid lately. It takes time for adoption to start picking traction. Everyone really needs to understand that. And now, if you are a Ripple XRP holder, what you need to do is wait for the XRapid adoption to spread. It will spread like the fire and it's quite possible it will. And as of now, only three companies have opted for the service and there are hundreds of banks worldwide that are on Swift technology as yet. Just imagine if only top 15 or 20 banks join the XRapid army, where would the XRP price go after such real life consumption? And I am not trying to be bullish on Ripple in the slightest. I am just trying to put it into some sort of a perspective for different people. Ripple is one of those tokens that is most hated, I would say, and causes most arguments. But all I'm trying to say is I thought a little bit about it. And that's more likely to happen as more countries like Nigeria, Sri Lanka, and the like start realizing that XRapid can save them 30 to 40% on remittance fees, as well as make people send receive payments within a couple of minutes instead of days. And for that exact reason, I decided to make a video about XRP. So here I am talking about it. So guys, let me know your thoughts about it. I am, I personally wasn't really surprised that XRP token didn't really pump after Swell and this whole announcement bunch of them and I explained in the video exactly why. So let me know your thoughts, whether you are a holder and you really think that holding XRP will make you a billionaire. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to Welcome Bus Ladies, let me know what the news would you like me to review next, as well as remember to follow me at Sarah on Twitter, where I've posted quite a 
I was a bit in a mood yesterday and I just posted people are, you know? And that's what happened. And so people quite agree with me and it feels quite good. Also, I made a joke about Bitcoin becoming a stable coin with a price of 6,600 because it's just been so boring. I do really miss bull run. That's all I'm trying to say. But we're in it for the long run anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. So I hope you all have a good one and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.